Street photographer. Have a good day. So we're shooting with the Sony ZV-1. Hey, what are you doing? Street photographers, three tips for you. Let's start with motivation. I suggest studying the works of well-known street photographers like Bruce Gilden, Gary Winograd, The Real Sir Robin, or whoever you know of that you admire their work. I also suggest you study paintings, the work of Caravaggio, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and photographers with exceptional lighting skills like Frank Dorhoff, Gavin Hoey, Mark Wallace, Seth, Lindsay Adler, Daniel Norton, just to name a few. My second tip for you is how to overcome fear. Yeah. <laughs> that was a setup. Choi helped me out with that. Thanks very much, Choi. Hi. And you on Instagram? Yeah, I have Instagram. Would you like a shout out on Instagram? Oh yeah, okay. All right, guys, uh, if you get a chance, check out uh, Choi's work and he'll tell you his Instagram. Hi, I'm Choi. My Instagram is I am Choi. Hi, go down bar and Choi. Let's overcome fear. Grab a friend head into the city and go to your favourite location for doing street photography, like I am here in the Melbourne CBD at the corner of La Trobe Street and Swanston Street. And this kind gentleman here named Gillian is going to uh, demonstrate my second tip for you. We're, we're gonna play a little game of uh, hide and seek. So uh, my role is to uh, capture a clear photograph of Gillian's face. Uh, while he's uh, moving around in and out people. And the objective is, is to uh, overcome your fear by raising your camera up to your eye, if you have a viewfinder, and you are knowingly taking a photo of your friend. So if anyone stops you and asks you, hey, what are you doing? You say, oh, I'm taking a photograph of my friend. And by the end of your shoot, you should be able to confidently raise your camera up to your eye and take a shot in public. Hi, I'm just taking a photo of my friend. Oh, <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. One more. That's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's cool. I got a couple. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. By the end of the shoot, I think holding your camera to your eye in public in the street will become second nature. You should be able to confidently raise your camera up to your face. Well, almost every time. Why do we say almost? Well, I've found, even though I've been shooting in public for many years, I still feel a little awkward at the start of a shoot until I warm up. The third tip that I've got for you, and that is to shoot in auto mode or semi-auto mode. And that way you concentrate and focus on what's happening in your surroundings. And that's what we'll do now. We'll try and get some shots. And I'm shooting with the Sony ZV-1. And I've got it in manual mode. But uh, you should shoot in auto mode. And one more, please, one.
Beautiful. So I'm outside the uh, State Library uh, in Melbourne and uh, set up a flash and I noted another street photographer walking by. I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, Hi, introduce my name, yourself. My name's Juan. Um, my name is Motivated Juan on Instagram. Um, I just I was just doing street and I come along this block and yeah, cool. did a little bit of demonstrations and stuff. Excellent. And what camera do you shoot with, Juan? Uh, I shoot with the Fuji X-T30 with a 23mm. 23mm, that's yeah, equivalent 35. to 35, yeah, is it? Yeah, much, yeah. Cool. Just nice daylight outside, beautiful day, lots of people, lots of happenings. That's right. And uh, I guess you like shooting uh, street photography. Street photography, yeah. I'm practicing like juxtaposition stuff at the moment, okay. like layerings and stuff. I've been looking at like Alex Webb stuff, so I've been loving a lot of his photos, so feeling inspired now trying to practice it. Cool, well that's another street photographer that I forgot to mention, Alex Webb. And uh, yeah, he's uh, known for his layering, isn't he? Definitely, great stuff, awesome photos. Awesome Check photos. I'm practicing like juxtaposition stuff at the moment, okay. like layerings and stuff. I right. usually shoot at night with the flash as well. Oh, do you do. really? Ah, yes, cool. I do, right. and movement stuff, low shutter speed stuff. So yeah. yeah, I have like a couple of spots I go back to just to get the you know, timing. And well, I could do with a bit of uh, skill in the layering area. That's another technique that you guys should look at is layering. So you do a bit of layering, do you, want? Yeah. So for example, there's this um, bakery store there with this window and like lamps. Pills maybe inside it and I'm trying to layer this uh, lamp to act as their heads. Um, cool. I got, I got one photo already today. Um, just one lady with the lamp as like it's her head though. But oh. I'm trying to get like three of them with all the three lamps as well over their heads. Wow, um, oh, I wouldn't mind having a look at that. Oh, wow, what a shot. Perfectly timed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. wow, that's a beauty. And yeah. how many days did you say you... you uh, I've been coming back there for about like six days now. I Gee. think for seven days. I just try and keep coming back there. Sometimes I come back there and there's a homeless guy in front of the window and I just wish, <laughs> oh, can I just excuse me and take a shot? Yeah, yeah it, takes a, it takes a while to get the timing right. And, yeah, just perfect timing. Fantastic shot. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah, definitely. If you get a chance, uh, get over and check out one's work. Street photographer, have a good day. Come together and I'll give you a nice photo. All together, come closer, come closer. Two, three. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. You want another one? All together? I'll give it to you for free. I'd, I don't want money. I'm doing for hobby. Okay, okay. okay yeah, ready? Close. Lovely. Ah, oh, beautiful. And you too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Mm, that's a good yeah, you want one on your own like that? Ready? How's that? Look a bit this way with my hand. Uh, go back a little bit. Uh, just bring power. Ready? One more. Oh, beautiful. Good. JD Strobus on Instagram. Okay, I'll put there. And you can have the photo. Just do the screenshot or email me and I'll send it to you, okay? okay. All right, all right. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So sometimes. I even asked for street portraits. Street photographer, have a good day. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Street photographer, have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got to get you this time. <laughs> street photographer, <laughs> have a good day. JD Strobus, bye. Have a great evening. Street photographer. Have a good day. I like that scene. Street photographer. That's like a beautiful photo. Street photographer. Wow, look at that, guys. Hey. 
Oh Beautiful, my. yeah. Sure, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Have a good day. Street photographer, have a good day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, guys, so that's a little bit of fun with the flash. I still think this is the best type of photography to do in the street. That's good. How that? And you're from Japan? Yeah. Ah, lovely. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, thank you. These are my street photography tips for you. That's lovely. Hold that, girls. She's doing a great job. Blow a kiss to the camera. Oh, wow. <laughs>